Day 319. What are we doing, Giorgio? Going surf lowers. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, today it's called slowers because slowers. it's small and slow. So oh, we're going to lower testicles, dude. Okay. Wild start for the morning. As Jim Hogan says, <laughs> gotta live it to know it. <laughs> That was actually a lot more fun than I anticipated. But now, yeah, I got a couple fun waves. Gio got a couple waves, but he just went back out. And I was gonna try and film one of his waves, but there's like a lot of people and not a lot of the waves. But I would say that I got lucky and I got a couple good ones. I mean, it's pretty small, but definitely made the most of it. And then now I'm gonna go home and go do some work at Sir. The usual. I can't remember, I think I left off after surfing. I worked at Sir Coffee. I made 10 videos for a client and I honestly brain rotted for a little bit. What else did I do? Yeah, so I film edited the videos, hung out at Sir with Giorgio for a bit, and then I actually just went and got a new pair of shoes. I'll show you guys that after. I haven't gotten shoes in a while, but no more sambas. They make my feet hurt. And yeah, we're at the gym. Today's more of a maintenance day. We're going to do some knees over toes stuff. Um, which I'll just show you in the next few clips. And then we're gonna do like a 30 minute Cal Sanks workout and call it. Today's kind of like a maintenance day. And then tomorrow's my only rest day of the week. And then I get straight back to it on Monday. Alright, so I did some other stretching. Just trying to figure out what I can do to get my knee a little bit stronger. I just realized I'm not wearing a mic, I gotta actually talk to you, the camera. Calisthenics workout. Push ups, pull ups. Can I do dips here? I'm just gonna time lapse it. And then, I don't know what else, but <laughs> let's go. Five rounds of 20 push ups. Uh, it ended with 20 dips but it, it was less, it was like 16 for the first round and 10 pull ups, you can see like in the last one, it started to get to me, but today, today's not a, a ruin me day. Today is a, I don't even know what it is, but now I wanna go for a run, now I'm pissed, you know? So, but the sun's starting to come out, I got a video I wanna try and film for residual stoke. How do you manage your fear? Fear is something that controls literally all of our lives because if it didn't, we'd all be dead because for some reason we'd believe that we could jump off a building and not get hurt, right, and totally survive. But when it really comes down to it, how do you manage it? How do you take that fear and turn it into something that you can control and make better? I'm doing my best to train and prepare myself to ride some of the biggest waves in the world. And I do that by coming and training almost every day so that I can build up a series of completely undeniable proofs so that when I get put into a situation that I'm afraid of, like taking a giant wave on the head, I can use it to keep me calm. And the same thing applies to what you can do in everyday life, whether you're stressed about money or your job or your relationship. If you can find ways to go and control your fear, by setting yourself up for success, by doing something that's hard every single day, you're callousing your mind to be ready for all of that extra stress and that fear. I don't know if that rabble sesh made sense, but that I was just thinking about at the end of my workout. <laughs> Follow me for more tips on fitness, fear, mindset, whatever it is, and uh, we'll see you in the water. These are the shoes I got. Pretty sick, huh? They're really light. But you see the toe box is a lot wider than my Adidas. So I'm stoked to have these, but I gotta lace them up so I can go to the grocery store right now. I don't have any socks. So I've been a little spun out over the last few hours. <sighs> Doing a bunch of stuff. Went to the grocery store, cleaned my van. Try to get the insurance situation for the Delta wired. If anybody knows any auto insurance people that can write me a policy for a 90 to 5 Mitsubishi Delta, let me know. I don't know why this has been so hard. But it's sunset time. We're gonna go for a swim. I'm really excited. And then we're gonna wake up tomorrow. We got to meet up with Brendan, gonna surf. Maybe go with my dad, I don't know, we'll see. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Let's get it. How pretty is this? Pretty nuts. 
I just went for a quick swim. Felt pretty good. Actually felt incredible, now that I think about it. And uh, I think we're gonna call it here for tonight. Wish I had something motivational to say, but honestly, I'm just soaking it in. We'll see you in the morning.